Welcome back to a brand new episode of Mastering Programming. In today's episode, we'll be using the accelerometer and the gyroscope within your iOS devices. As you can see, as I'm changing it, the information is changing live. We will do this. I'll show you exactly how to do it and I'll show you exactly how to use it inside of your app. Before continuing, please make sure you leave a subscribe and leave a like. Welcome back guys. So the first thing we need to do is actually launch up Xcode just like every time. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Xcode. Let's go ahead and create a new Xcode project. And I'm going to select app and obviously make sure you're working with iOS. And we're gonna hit next. Let's just call it anything. I'll call it Gyro. And I'm going to make sure that my interface is set on storyboards and that language is Swift. Let's go ahead and click next. And I'll just save it on my desktop. So let's click on desktop and then create. Perfect. So let's go ahead and expand this. And what I will do just to avoid getting um, all weird layouts, I'm just gonna uncheck the landscape right and landscape left and make sure that I'm only working in my portrait. Now let's go ahead and go to our main storyboard. Now, because my phone's actually not connecting to my iMac, I will be using my iPad. So I will go ahead and change my view to the iPad. The code will be exactly the same. Everything will be exactly the same. This is just so that I can actually test it in front of you and show you exactly how it works. Let's just go ahead and put my face somewhere else. Now we're going to need the, uh, three labels for the gyroscope and three labels for the accelerometer. Let's go ahead and drag a label right in the middle. And let's go ahead, probably zoom in a little bit. And we can make this a little bit bigger just like this. Let's go ahead and select large title as the font. And this will be gyro scope please excuse any spelling errors let's just go ahead and make sure that this is in the middle and what i can do now is drag in three extra labels so i'm simply going to drag in a label i'll put it somewhere over here and just drag it right across now the values are actually going to be quite long so make sure you do actually expand it and let's go ahead and do this three times just like this and another one just like this what we can do as well is actually drag everything inside of here duplicate it and put it right underneath somewhere maybe over here and instead of saying gyroscope what we can say here is the accelerometer so acceler acceleration acceleration because i don't know how to spell accelerometer and inside of here, again, we'll just leave it for now. Let's go ahead and open our assistant. First, maybe we can probably zoom out and close these just to give ourselves some extra uh, space to work with. I'm going to open my assistant. And let's go ahead and, and drag and drop each of our six labels over here. So for the gyro, I'm simply going to say gyro x. For this one, I'll say gyro y this one you guessed it it's gyro z or gyro z if you're from australia and for the acceleration we're going to do the exact same thing for the first label it's going to be axel a ah, x and this one's going to be axel y and this one is going to be axel z or z perfect so now what we need to do is actually import our core motion. So I'll simply say import and then I'll say core motion. And what we can do is we can actually jump outside of the system straight into our view, straight into our view controller, just so that we have again, more space to work with. And maybe I can just put some more light so you can see me properly. And now what we can do is we can create two different functions. One, uh, which will be for the gyroscope and the other one will be for the acceler accelerometer. So let's go ahead and actually start by creating another function over here. And I'll call this one gyro. Well, let's call it something like my gyro. Open and close the bracket. Let's create the second one. And this one's going to be called my axel. Again, we don't know how to spell accelerometer. Before we continue, we can actually probably do it now. We just need a reference to the core motion. And all I'll do is simply create a variable and I'll call it var motion and it will be of type CMM motion 
manager and you're going to open and close a bracket. Perfect. Now we can use motion to get the gyroscope and the accelerometer. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to type in motion and then we're going to say dot gyro update interval. And what this means is it pretty much sets how, how often should we look for changes. So we don't want it to be live. We want it to check for a change every, z is every 0 0.5 seconds. And what we're going to do next is we're going to call our motion variable that we created. And then we're going to say start gyro updates. Inside of here, we're going to say two and we're going to say with handler. For two, we're going to say operation q dot current and we're going to force unwrap that and we're actually going to remove everything inside of that bracket we're going to open and close the zigzaggy bracket inside of here let's open another parenthesis and inside of here we're going to be looking for data and at the same time we are go also going to check if we have errors or like a sign error if we do have it and then we're going to say in and after that we can actually start by checking do we have data so i can do by saying true data if it exists assign it to true data and now we can actually access everything through the data here so before i begin before i do anything all i will do is actually just print true data for you and let's go ahead and run our application on the ipad so let's go ahead and collect connect the ipad now you cannot actually test this on a simulator. You need your iPad or your phone, anything that does obviously contain a gyroscope. So I'm just gonna go ahead, connect it, and then we'll run it and we'll see what happens. Okay, perfect. So the app is actually running right now and I can show you over here. But the only issue is that we actually forgot to call the function. So all we need to do is go to our view did load and I'm going to type in my gyro. Now let's go ahead and run this. And what should happen is that we should start seeing a lot of print statements over here showing us our x y and z values being printed let's go ahead and run this and as you can see we are having it now they're pretty much very close to each other but you can see if i grab this and start moving it and shaking it you can see that the values are changing hugely they're completely changed and if i if i put it still you'll see that it's starting to be reduced and it's starting to be much more stable let's go ahead and pause this and let's actually start getting some useful information out of this. So instead of just printing it as true data, what we can do is we can actually say self dot gyro. Oops, sorry, self. So now we're going to just display it on the actual screen, and we're going to say self dot and gyro x dot text is equal to. Let's open and close uh, a quotation mark. And inside of here, I'm going to say true data. Oops, sorry, true data dot dot rotation dot x because this is the x one let's go ahead copy this pretty much three times change this to a y and change this one to a z obviously same thing here we're just going to change this one to a y and this one to a z and now if we run the app you'll be able to see those changes inside of your app now i'll just wait until we finish the acceleration and then i'll show you both inside of the app Let's go ahead and continue with my acceleration. Now, exactly the same thing with the gyro um, in interval and the gyroscope, we're going to do exactly the same. So I'm going to say motion dot, this time we're going to say accelerometer update interval. Again, we just want it to be every half a second. That's when we're going to start checking. We're going to say motion dot accelerometer. And actually we're going to say start accelerometer updates yes i am cheating to make sure i have everything correctly two we're going to make sure that we have the operation q dot current and we're going to force unwrap that let's go ahead and highlight everything else and remove it after that we'll close and open a zigzag bracket inside of here we're going to handle errors exactly the same by saying data and then we're going to say error and i'll just pick write it that way in and this is the time where we're actually going to assign it as well so just how we assigned it here to true data if it exists what i'll do is i'll say if let and we can say my data is equal to data so if it exists we want to assign it or put it inside of my data now we're going to say self dot um acceler a which was meant to be acceler x dot text and we're going to say it's equal to and we're going to use string interpolation here 
and I'm going to say my data dot acceleration dot x same exact thing we will just simply copy this paste it two more times and inside of here we're going to change this to y and this one to x again same thing this one is going to change to y and this one is going to change to z this one should have been z because we don't have something called x perfect now of obviously we have to still call this so i'll simply say my excel and now if we run this you should be able to see all the changes the acceleration and the gyroscope displayed to you on the screen so if i lay the ipad directly as you can see it just staying very still if i go ahead and remove it just like this you can see that the information is changing rapidly you can see over here now something else we can do is we can put an if statement cool we can put an if statement for example over here and we can check something like if my data dot acceleration um, and we can give let's say it's greater than one then that's the time when we actually want you to display it so let's say we're only interested in this if it's actually increasing and obviously we have to specify which one so i'll say x now let's go ahead and run this and i'll show you exactly what this does so let's go back to our quick time player here so we can see exactly what's being displayed and as you can see label right now is just saying label but if i go ahead and move this real quickly and it is not doing anything as you can see exactly as soon as we pass the change of one as you can see it did change and it actually updated otherwise it wouldn't be interested in the value thank you for watching and please remember to leave a like leave a subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions have a good day Thank you.